Hi, I'm Ruben Valverde. This is my beautiful wife, Kim, and this is our testimony. I got saved in October of 2013, and my faith was really gonna be tested soon after that because in February of 2014, I was actually diagnosed with stage three cancer um, and meningitis at the same time. I got put into ICU for eight weeks. I had five more hospital stays where they told my family I probably wasn't gonna make it. I had five surgeries, including a minor brain surgery, 54 spinal taps and two seizures. Because of the meningitis, they had to put him on the strongest antibiotics and so he couldn't, his body couldn't handle chemo and the antibiotics at the same time. And so all chemo had to stop. After I got released after eight weeks, my oncologist told me to come back three weeks after so that way we could monitor the cancer to see where it was since I couldn't be on chemo treatment. Uh, going back after the three weeks, the first thing my oncologist said when I sat down, she goes, you know God's with you? I go, what do you mean? She goes, the cancer numbers have dropped. She goes, I've talked to my colleagues, other oncologists, we don't understand what's going on, but there's no cancer in your blood. And at that moment, I really got emotional because that's when I knew God had worked in me and, and performed a miracle. We were all praying for Reuben. We were all coming together in agreement, um, declaring victory and knowing that God was doing something, knowing that he was gonna pull through. Through that and seeing the miracles that God performed in my life, I really wanted more. And so that's when we found the way um, and we started plugging in on YouTube. Uh, we had started attending Fire Fridays and, and just being at Fire Fridays, we both felt the Holy Spirit working on us and just bringing that fire back that we needed. I heard about Leadership University. We recently graduated this past year, this past June. Uh, my beautiful wife got valedictorian. I graduated with high honors. This past two years being here at The Way, we've grown way more than the, you know, the six years that I was in my in, in faith before. I believe God never gives us more than we can handle. And like I said, I was at my weakest moment at that time. And he really had to do that transformation in me to break me down to the weakest moment, to build me up, to be that man of God he called me to be, to be even stronger in my faith, stronger in my physical being, and stronger in my relationship with my wife. Even though it was gonna be hard and it was gonna be tough, and, and there was times of depression and anxiety that he was gonna use this for his glory. And he's given this testimony to me to be able to share with others to encourage others, inspire others, and to have an impact on others and share the love of God and how if God could do it for me and heal me, He could heal you, He could heal anybody. I now have a better understanding of life and who I am in Christ. We just thank God for everything He's done. We thank God for every day of life. So we just hope this blesses you. Uh, we thank you and, and God bless you. Hello everyone. Wow, what a great testimony from Reuben and Kim and all that God has been doing in their lives. You know, Reuben and Kim have both attended our Leadership University and have graduated. You know, I get a first-hand look at what God is doing in their lives as Reuben serves on one of my teams and he serves faithfully that he's really, really become one of my right-hand guys. You know, not only have I seen the growth in him, but also in his wife and it's amazing. My name is Pastor Armando and this is our moment of impact. You might be asking, what is the moment of impact? This is a moment in our service that we all get to come together and see lives transformed just like Reuben and Kim's through our giving. Our giving creates an opportunity for lives to continue to be impacted here at The Way. Day after day, week after week, month after month, 18 years later, here we are still making an impact with the love of Jesus. And today I wanna to share with you three keys on giving. Key number one, every believer is called to give weekly. In 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse two, it says, on the first day of each week, you should each put aside a portion of money you have earned. You see, Paul is telling us each week, put a portion aside. And each week we come to the house of God, we should come prepared with a gift for this moment and ready to give. Key number two, as believers, we're instructed to give in proportion to what we have. 
In 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 12, it says, whatever you give is acceptable if you give it eagerly and give it according to what you have, not what you don't have. And this is great because this is an opportunity for each and every one of us to give. Some might be able to give 20, some might give 60, and somebody else might give 1,000. We all do our part to make an impact, but together we make it happen according to what we have. So key number one is every believer is called to give weekly. Key number two, as believers we're instructed to give in proportion to what we have. And key number three, the last key here, is give joyfully. In 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7, it says you must each decide in your hearts how much to give. And don't give reluctantly or in response to prayer pressure because God loves a cheerful giver. This is a moment that we get to come together to impact lives through our giving and do it cheerfully. You know, if this is your first time here, sit back and relax. There's no pressure to give. But I will tell you one thing, this is one of the best places that you can give to and see lives transformed. Not only here at our Hallmark campus, but also at our Arrowhead campus, our Pomona campus, our Tijuana campus, our Medford, Oregon campus, our Africa campus, and now in our Arizona campus. It's amazing to see what God is doing through our giving. Let's go back to 2 Corinthians chapter 9, but let's go to verse 8. In verse 8 it reads, And God will generously provide all that you need, and you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. God doesn't just want to generously provide your needs and bless you, but He wants you to be a source of blessing for others. We're blessed to be a blessing. So today, let's give with a cheerful heart. And we have three ways that you can do that today. Number one, we can download the Wayworld Outreach app and you can go to your Google Play Store or your Apple Store and do that today. And you can go down and you can sign up either for recurring giving or do a one-time gift. Me and my family, we do recurring giving and it's super easy and simple. The second option we have is you can type in any web browser, the way.gives. That's the way.gives with an S and it'll take you straight to our portal. And our third option is we have kiosks at the back of our sanctuary and you can get up out of your seats and give now. Or you can come into our office Monday through Friday from 9 to 5. You know, I want to say thank you so much for all your giving and making an impact in lives here at The Way. Let's do that today and let's give with a cheerful heart as we welcome up our worship team. God bless you and thank you again so much.